Welcome. I'm Bernice Ross, the CEO and President of Brokerage Up and Real Estate Coach.com. And I'm here with one of my longtime speaker friends, Craig Grant. He's an international speaker. I've met him, I've been out on the speaking circuit many times. You get a chance to hear him. He is the expert in real estate technology. He is the president well, thank you. and CEO, <laughs> founder of uh, Real Estate Technology Institute. And they, the thing I'm so excited about, we have a great session for you today called Find Your Perfect CRM. Craig, thank you for being with us today. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. How's it going, Bernice? Uh, things are great. Um, I want to begin with, you know, the, the kind of the one-liner about CRMs mm -hmm. is that um, which CRM is best? Mm -hmm. you the one use. you use, right? <laughs> and you know, if that doesn't help you very much. How do you decide which one's the right one? Yeah. So um, the... The, the question is, you have put together a tool mm -hmm. that, you know, it's called, the, it's called the CRM generator that will help me find the CRM that is perfect for my business and the tools I use. Correct. First of all, how did you go about doing that? Uh, sure. Well, so first of all, um, the reason we took on this project is, and I speak about technology all over the industry. Um, I don't care what topic I'm speaking about. I could be speaking about social media and at least three hands go up during the class. Hey, what's the best CRM? It's easily the number one question in the business because it's the most confusing thing. And a CRM is honestly the most important decision someone has to make because it ends up running the entire business. So we, I figured let's take on the industry's biggest problem and solve it. So what we did was first, um, we did a webinar series with a lot of the top CRM vendors in the industry. And typically when we do webinars, they're usually all educational. But during this series, we told the CRM vendors, just demo your product, show us all the cool bells and whistles, show us what your product did. So we recorded those webinars. Um, and then phase two was we made every vendor fill out a very detailed questionnaire that really told us exactly what tools and features their system has, exactly what third party tools it integrates with and so on. And then we turned that into what we call the CRM generator. So as a realtor, all you have to do is answer eight questions. It takes easily under two to three minutes to do this. And at the end of the eight questions, it then ranks all the vendors from the ones that are best to worst based on your personal needs. So in other words, if you put in certain things into the generator, you're gonna get a different set of results than the next person. So it's all about giving you the exact ones for your needs because you and I were joking about this. Anytime a realtor contacts these vendors, they're speaking to a salesperson. And every CRM company is going to tell them, you know, our system's amazing and better than all the other ones because of these reasons. And you never really get to figure out exactly what tools and features they have. So the CRM generator not only helps you take months of research down to a couple minutes, more importantly, it's in an unbiased way. Like it's literally here are the tools I want, here are the integrations I want, which systems have it, which ones don't. Um, so let's... So yeah, you man. just mentioned that the, then the two main categories that I need to look at when I'm choosing a CRM are tools and integration. Could you mm -hmm. explain exactly when you say tools, what you mean? And when you say integration, what do you mean? Absolutely. So first of all, um, CRMs of the past, a few years ago, were really just contact managers. You would go in and make notes in each person's profile and it would remind you when to follow up that person or market to them. Modern CRMs are much, much more than that. They handle communications, they handle marketing, some of them handle financials. I mean, they do a lot more than just contact management than we did it back in the day. So when you're looking at getting a CRM, I always say it's a smart thing to sit down and kind of plan out what are the tools you want. Because some of these CRM systems have, for example, on the tool side, some of them have digital marketing centers where you can create all of your marketing materials, your emails, your flyers, your postcards, social media posts built into the system. Some of them integrate with financial systems like QuickBooks, so you can actually do commissions and payouts out of them. Some of them have tie-ins to marketing systems like MailChimp, Constant Contact, Boom, uh, BombBomb. I mean, there's so many tools and integrations you can look into that some of these systems have. So the tools are what system that company, let's say you sign up with a certain CRM vendor, it's which tools they're gonna have built in that they're providing you. The integrations are third party companies that they're gonna integrate with. And the entire purpose of a modern CRM is reducing time and work. So if it's integrating, let's say with QuickBooks and you're doing your financials out of QuickBooks, you don't have to reduplicate that work. If it's integrating with your contracts and forms program, let's say like 
dot loop or form simplicity or zip logic, you don't have to reduplicate that work. The actual contracts and forms may be built in and tied in. So it's all about how can I do everything in one place and the more tools and integrations it has, the less you have to go and do more work a second and third time. So as I listen to you describing this, what I'm, what I'm wondering is, would it make sense for me to have to maybe do some preparation before I take this uh, assessment? Because I'm hearing you talk about a lot of different things um, that I need to take a look at in my business. So uh, let's start with, you know, the tools. So you talked mm -hmm. about the contract, um, you know, the contracts and other kinds of things. Could you elaborate what I should be really taking a look at in terms of that part of doing this assessment? Sure. sure. On the real estate side, there's two major tools you're hoping that a CRM vendor provides or ties into. The first one's contracts and forms management. So when you're creating a contract to provide to a client for a transaction, you could be using tools like ZipLogic, .loop, App Files, Transaction Desk, Skyscope. There's a bunch of them. But you would love for your CRM system to tie into that so that way you're not having to do work over here in the contract program and then back into the CRM to update everything you just did. So that's your contracts and forms. The other big piece that a realtor would want to look for is called task management or some people call it transaction management, which is when you set up a new client, whether the buyer or seller doesn't matter, it automatically creates a schedule for you of your activities you have to do every day for that client. And that way you wake up each morning and you have your little calendar of events for that day of you have to make these 12 actions for all your clients. Now you don't forget something. So some of the contract program companies have a task manager. Um, you know, for example, ZipLogic has one, DotLoop has one. Several of them have it. And then there are some standalone ones like Backagent, um, Reprie, Broco, Broker Sumo, uh, Folio, that are not ones provided by the contract companies, but are separate task managers you could use as well. Now, in terms of marketing, what would I be looking for in that? Marketing, there's a lot of different things. Um, for example, on the email marketing side, you have companies like MailChimp and Constant Contact are the two major ones that most realtors use, and most of these systems tie into those two. Um, you've also got other companies like BombBomb, uh, Happy Grasshopper, SmartZip. If you're doing any kind of landing page stuff like lead pages, um, uh, trying to think offers, social media accounts, so you can post to your social media or if you're using any kind of social media posting tool, um, like trying to think like Buffer or Hootsuite. So again, if it ties into those, that's another plus. And then there's the actual digital marketing centers where you can create your marketing materials, you know, your flyers, your business cards, social media posts, things like that. So um, with those, if I'm brand new, then those things would actually, do they have like templates that I can do my marketing, I can use to create marketing pieces inside of those? Absolutely. And, and if they're also, if the system's also integrating with your IDX, so now it's pulling in your property details, all your listings, it means you could very quickly and easily create marketing materials for your listings themselves, you know, and your listing Craig cards, and, stuff like that. Craig, in case we've got some people who are brand new in the business who don't know what IDX is, uh, yeah. let's explain that to them. I know we've got a lot of experienced people uh, that are listening to this, but sure. for those that are brand new, what yep. does IDX do? Sure. It stands for information data exchange, but in layman's terms, it's basically MLS feed that you can get to update your website or pull into a system like this for your marketing. So, so what it does is it lets it lets me display the MLS listings on my site. And if you've been if you've looked at you know sites and you see you know this is say a KW site, but you see a Cobalt Banker listing there, it's, it has an IDX feed. That's feed exactly that. okay. exactly, and that's Just that's out on that's didn't out know on, that <laughs> right. Well, that's out on your website, but if it's pulling into my CRM, what it means is I can now dynamically create marketing materials out of my listings as well. Say a little bit more about that. Sure. If it's pulling in my listing from the MLS with all the property details, the pictures and everything, and I have a, and it's pulling into my CRM system and my CRM system has a marketing center, I could just say, I could say, I want to create all my marketing materials out of this listing. I want to create social media posts, flyers, postcards, 
I'd be able to very quickly and easily go in and create custom marketing materials because it's pulling in all those pictures and details from the, from the IDX feed. So again, it's one less step of work you'd have to do in another system if your CRM is also has IDX feed and marketing center. Now, let's, uh, we mentioned IDX coming off your MLS, but what, what about Zillow, Trulia, uh, Realtor.com, those sites that a lot of people uh, pay to get leads? Yep. Um, it's another thing you should want to look for is does the CRM system integrate with those big real estate portal sites? So in other words, it should automatically pulling in your leads um, if you're getting from them because speed of response is so important these days. Um, and again, you could have additional marketing capabilities if it's kind of flow into those sites as well. Um, one of the things that comes up for me, how does this integrate maybe with my brokers? Can I put my broker's site into this? I mean, you know, um, if, they, if, they're, if they're providing certain tools for me or they're, they're. Yeah, well, it would be the second scenario. So in other words, typically if an agent gets their own CRM, it's not going to feed up to the broker, but a lot of these CRM companies provide the company buys it and then, then that they provide the solution down to the agents. So it's more of a top down solution. Um, but that's another thing when you're looking at a CRM, you got to think right away, am I buying it just for myself or I'm a team or a company leader and I want to buy it for multiple people. Cause then again, that factors in which comp which CRM vendors you're looking at. Some do a great job with company structures and some don't do as great of a job. Uh, question I have for you, if you're coming to this new mm -hmm. and my broker has a CRM system, should I look at getting one of my own in case I decide to move somewhere? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Well, first of all, if your company provides you CRM, it's only one set of work. If you get your own, you are duplicating your work because most, most brokers are still going to require you to log all your activities in their system from a compliance standpoint. So if you get your own, you would have to probably duplicate some of the work you're doing. Just realize that. But I am a kind of a believer in, as a agent, you should always control your own business and your own brand. So even though a lot of real estate companies give you a website, I always recommend get your own site. You know what I mean? Because you don't want to be tied down forever to a company because if you leave, you're going to start from zero. Like it's like becoming a brand new agent in the business if you're using all of their provided tools. Or if, you're, if your company gets acquired and they change CRMs and- um, That too. <laughs> and this is an issue also for people who own companies. Let's see, uh, Compass Bot, uh, what's it, Contactually? Contactually, yep. And here are these other companies who are using Contactually and they stop supporting it from the looks yep. of it. And so here, these companies are kind of caught up in that, that mess where they relied on an outside vendor instead of building their own. That's part of the reason we're seeing this race now for all these big companies to have their own platforms so that they don't have to deal with, you know, Agreed. losing that, you know, it's kind of interesting. Agreed. Um, Craig, um, um, do you have any other final takeaways for us today? Um, well, I think the main thing is, again, it is the serum, the picking a serum is a huge decision. Um, and it's not something you should rush to do. Um, and to kind of give an example, the way we built our serum generator is again, it reduces that research down to just a couple minutes, but we put a, um, a, a button on each vendor's profile to request a meeting with them. And my recommendation is you don't just pick your number one, the one our, our tool came out with your number one ranking. I still recommend, even though we just help you narrow it down, still setting up demos with a few of them. Because just because it looks like on paper, this one's the best match for you, doesn't mean if you start using it, it's gonna be. So you still wanna check them out, talk to them, ask maybe for a free account for a few days so you can play with it, and make sure it really makes sense for you, the way you run your business. And also, every system, the user interfaces aren't, some of them are really well done and very easy to figure out. You shouldn't have to, we were joking around about Infusionsoft, like, yeah, you have to hire a consultant. You shouldn't have to hire a consultant and go for days of training to figure out how to use the system. It should be pretty intuitive if it's a well-built system. So even though our tool helps you narrow down the research time, you still want to check a few out, in my personal belief. Now, something we haven't talked about, but I think is really important is at the level of customer support. Absolutely. That is a huge thing. Okay, could you I mean, say more about that? Well, I mean, it's, it's no different than anything else you're going to buy in your life. You want to make sure you have good support behind it. Um, but with a CRM, it's huge because it really does end up running almost every part of your business. So first thing you want to look into is what's called onboarding. 
In other words, when you sign up, let's say you go with a certain company, how are they going to train you and get you live? Um, some of them, it's kind of, here's your instruction manual, go figure it out on your own. Some of them have excellent onboarding programs where they, they train you, they do support calls, whatever they need to do to make sure you're really well set up. And it's not just you learning, but also if you are moving from an older, a different system to a new CRM, we're going to try to help you get as much of your information into this new system as we can. Because the worst thing is you switch from one CRM to another and all of a sudden you've lost all your notes in every person's profile or you, you know, you've lost something really important and now it's like starting all over again or you're going to have to spend hours of work updating things. So uh, onboarding's huge. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, another question, um, this idea of you know, if, the, if your CRM goes down or gets corrupted for some reason, uh, do these systems have backup for you um, yep. on your side? If it gets corrupted on their side, how should I be backing up on my side? Good point. Yep. I mean, any company these days should be redundantly backed up in the cloud, meaning not just at their physical location, they have other backups in different locations. So when anything does happen, you're okay. But that is a definitely an important question to be asking them just to make sure. Um, and again, it's not just the onboarding. It's once you're a customer, what's their support like? I mean, some of them have limited office hours. Some of them have better office hours. Some of them it's submitted ticket, we'll get back to you soon. Some of them you can speak to a human being. Like you really want to make sure if something critical is involved in your business, you can get help whenever you need it. For me, I want a human being. <laughs> I, I as well. Even me, me being a geek, I'd still, there's times if I can't figure something out, I want to speak to a human. I mean, waiting around for them to respond is never a fun thing when something's important. And it's hard to describe sometimes what's going on if they can take your screen and take a look at it and say, oh, yes, and... Back to. <laughs> well, Craig, this has been great. We've been visiting with Craig Grant. He is the uh, CEO and founder of Real Estate Technology Institute. Uh, visit um, to um, to take you know to find out which CR CRM is right for you. Where do they need to, need to go to take the assessment? Sure. If they go to reti.us, like United States, um, that'll get them to the main site, um, and they can see it's not just CRMs. We have over fifteen hundred pieces of instructional videos and product reviews, just about anything tech marketing in the real estate world is on our site. Um, in the very top of the header, there's a link right at the top for CRM Generator. Um, plus, we also have it in our little slideshow on the homepage as well. Um, but they can just check out the site if they want or jump right into Generator if that's all they're looking for. Um, and you can use the system totally for free. Um, if, if you go through the CRM Generator, um, it's only going to ask you for an email address. To get, see your rankings, it's going to tell you you have to, uh, you have to become a member to unlock it. But I'll give you guys a, a kind of our launch special, um, you know, for listening to this. Um, if they use the promo code new R E T I M O like per month, it would make that first month or only 99 cents just to try out the serum generator. And they would still get access to the whole site for a month. Um, would, you, would you repeat that again? That is sure. Um, the promo code is new. R-E-T-I-M-O, M as in Mary. Um, so that would allow them to just try it out for a dollar to see all the rank, to what the real rankings are. Um, and also it, it expands what's called the report card. Like it shows you how the vendor answered every question we asked them. Great. Well, Craig, thank you for being with us today. And uh, this was an excellent interview. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks.